This day today is Monday, 15th of January 2024. This day is celebrated as Indian Army Day. Observed annually on the January 15th stands as a testament uh, to the commitment and indomitable spirit of the Indian Army. It marks the anniversary of Lieutenant General K. M. Karipa taking the responsibility of the Commander in Chief of the Indian Army. Once again, Army Day is celebrated on 15th January every year in India is in recognition of Lieutenant General Kodandera M. Karipas, later who became Field Marshal, taking over as the first commandant, uh, Commander-in-Chief of the Indian Army from the General Francis Roy Bocher, the last British Commander-in-Chief of India on 15th January 1949. The day is observed celebrated in the form of paradas, uh, parades sorry, and other military show in the National Capital of Delhi as well as in uh, in all headquarters on 15th of january 2023 uh, india celebrated its 75th indian army day uh, in the bengaluru army day marks a day to salute the valiant soldiers who sacrificed their lives uh, to protect the country and its citizens Starting the newspaper analysis with the news about the Hindu states that looking for Israel jobs read the fine print. Indian workers heading to Israel are not eligible for protections and the government's e-migrate portal must pay for their own travel accommodation insurance ministries pass the buck on workers safety are in conflict zone. About 80 to 100 foreign workers have been killed during the October 7 attack against Israel and the conflict that has followed leading many countries in including India, to fly out their uh, expatriate uh, citizens. The Hindu newspaper also states that abdiction, once rare a common practice in the age of democracy, Queen Margaret became Denmark's first monarch to ab abdicate uh, in nearly 900 years when she handed over the throne to her son, Crown Prince Frederick. While most of monarchs abdicated uh, uh, citing age, uh, Spain's Juan uh, Carlos had abdicated in a disgrace in 2014. The Hindu newspaper also states that tough road ahead of for Taiwan's lie with the pressure from China and no majority. Lai Ching Ti of the ruling Democratic Progressive Party was elected president of Taiwan on Saturday by a comfortable margin, though with less than half the vote, but his party failed to achieve a majority in parliament, on which he will uh, have to relay uh, to pass legislation and approve spending. Uh, Taiwan's president elect Lai Ching Ti Center L and his running mate uh, Haisio B. Kim Center R attend a rally outside the headquarters of the Democratic Progressive Party DPP in Taipei on January 13, 2024, after winning the presidential election. The Hindu newspaper also states that Urdu poet uh, Munawar Rana passes away at 71. Renowned poet Munawar Rana passed away at the Sanjay Gandhi Post Graduate Institute of Medical Science in Lucknow on January 14. He was 71. He was suffering from the throat cancer for a long time. Munawar Rana in 2014. Point towards the Indian Express newspaper states that Army to let uh, Lieutenant calls for specialized. To Nietzsche, a tech opt out of command posts. Only about 30 to 40 percent of lieutenant colonels are approved for the rank of colonel. Uh, the policy also mandates uh, that the officers must uh, be approved uh, for the rank of the colonel uh, as per their merit. Indian Express also states that Ashnavi Vishnu at Idea Exchange from the Uttar Pradesh government to highways, telecom and railways. We are all ready for the Ram Temple. Union Minister for Railway, Communication, Electronics and Information Technology Ashwini Vishnu has been working for the modernization of the Indian Railway and the introduction of Vande Bharat Express trains across the India. Uh, from the right, Ashwini Vishnu, uh, Minister for Railways, Communication, Electronics and Information Technology with Liz Matthew and Anil Sasi.
Indian Express also states that for India, the easiest way to decarbonize is to scale up renewable capacity. Reduction in the use of fossil fuels can be easily done in the case of power generation, where one needs to substitute coal and gas with the solar, wind, hydro, and also nuclear. What does evident is that the easiest way to decarbonize is to scale the up renewable capacity to the extent possible as this is the low hanging fruit. Going to the Hindustan Times newspaper states that fog in Delhi, 10 flights diverted to only cancelled, 400 plus delayed. The dense fog that lasted for nearly 11 hours on Sunday hit flight and rail operations in the capital, leaving thousands of passengers waiting for the hours, airport and railway officials said. Fog at the Indira Gandhi International Airport in New Delhi on Sunday. In a space research organization, I's fab launch for key uh, inset 3DS satellites. Uh, crucially, this will be the first launch of the GSLV in around eight months. New Delhi after a successful start to 2024 with the two significant missions already completed the Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO is now gearing up to launch a inset 3 ds satellites on board uh, the Geosynchronous uh, launch vehicle GSLV F-14 is a more advanced rocket that uses liquid uh, propellant. A senior official from the space agency said that the launch is uh, likely to happen around the first week of the February. In the Times also states that 100 days of a war that may alter the course of West Asia geopolitics. Israel Hamas war, a view of a rubble buildings hit by an Israeli airstrike in the Gaza City. In international politics, like in fire life, uh, the past laid planners get erupted, derailed, even disrupted due to what a former British Prime Minister Harold M. Macmillan in the different context and a different era had said about what would shape his term events, dear boy, events. Going towards the economy of the country from the business point of view, IPO boom, market value of 57 listings uh, in 2023 up 870%, uh, 52 trading at premium. This means investors, mainly promote, promoters and industry, uh, institutional investors have seen an overall appreciation of rupees 4,000, sorry, 4 lakh 30,000 crore in their wealth from these IPOs. Investors who put money in the initial public offering in 2023 have seen handsome appreciation in their investments after listing of shares on the stock exchange. The market value of 57 IPOs listed in the last 12 months has shot up to Rs. 4,79,656 crore, translating to an 870% spread in investor wealth as these companies raised only Rs. 49,434 crore from the market through the IPOs. This means investors, mainly promoters and institutional investors, have seen an overall appreciation of rupees 4,30,000 crore in their wealth from these IPOs. Of the 57 companies listed on the stock exchange in the last 12 months, share prices of only five companies are trading at a discount, others have gained up to 236 percent. Navi Mumbai Airport to begin operations from March 2025, as India Jyotir Ditya, India said in the first and the second phase that will be begin together a one runway, one terminal, and a passenger capacity of two crore will be created. Uh, Union Minister of Civil Aviation Jyotir Ditya, as India. <laughs> Sindhya, sorry, uh, said commercial operations of the rupees 18,000 crore Navy Mumbai International Airport are expected to start by March 31, 2025. The airport will be the first country with the uh, automated passenger movement with its, within its 1,600 hectares for 10 kilometers on the city side and on the air side. Going towards the world news, including in Lowa, Nikki Haley was at, has the attention sorry, of the Democrats and Independents. North Korea says it has tested a solid fuel hypersonic missile. A Republican presidential primary are going to the P2 person race, says Nikki Haley. NSA meets uh, in Davos to discuss Ukraine peace formula, say India can play a key role. Hezbollah says, uh, sees all maritime navigation in danger after U.S. strikes on Yemen. 
In historic succession, Denmark's king uh, Frederick uh, X takes the throne as his mother steps down. Going towards the science and technology, watch this space. NASA's slow uh, Artemis Hubble's fast radio burst and person pregnant uh, quick failure. This week, watch this space explorers mysterious fast radio burst by aging telescope astrobiotic uh, peregrine launch and more. NASA's pregrine of first launch. Artificial intelligence point of view marker uh, Sun uh, sorry Sankranti 2024 wishes. We ask Chair GPT to suggest a marker Sankranti uh, wishes and this is what it gave us. <laughs> Happy marker Sankranti 2024. Here are the top wishes for a marker Sankranti generated by open artificial ten, uh, artificial intelligence is Chair GPT. Marker Sankranti is a Hindu festival celebrated in India and some other parts of the South Asia. It typically falls on January 14 to few or 15 each year. A uh, kite flyer struggled to get airlift as wind stopped pickling pace on Saturday evening in the, at the International Kite Festival at Sabramati uh, Riverfront in Ahmedabad on Sunday. Sorry, on Saturday ahead of Uttarayan Festival. From the technology point of view, after 30 years, Microsoft is finally removing World WordPad off from Windows. Say goodbye to WordPad. Microsoft is phasing out the classic text uh, editor for good. Microsoft skills is out a uh, WordPad from Windows 11 position as Notepad as the remaining plain text editor. At last, this is a famous quotation said by Sir Chandra Shekhar Van Katharaman, whose birth anniversary is 7 November 1888 up to 21st November 1970, was an Indian physicist known for his work in the field of light scattering. Using a spectrograph that he developed, he and his student K.S. Krishnanan discovered that when light traverses a transparent material, the reflected light changes its wavelength and frequency. This phenomenon, a hero to unknown type of scattering of light, which they call modified scattering, was subsequently termed the Raman effect or Raman scattering. Raman received the 1930 Nobel Prize in Physics for the discovery uh, and was the first Asian to receive a Nobel Prize in any branch of science. Uh, C.V. Raman says a famous quotation. He says that the science of science uh, is independent thinking, hard work and not equipment. Okay, thank you.